Would you believe me if I told you Betterment came out with a crypto solution today? Well, they did, and that's what we're going to go over today. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Ryan, and on today's episode of Research and Design, we're going to go through uh, Betterment's crypto offering, some of the pros and cons of it, the fee structure, um, and some things to look forward to in the next couple of uh, releases. So let's get let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, if you're looking at the homepage here uh, on the front page, on the homepage of Betterment, you'll notice uh, I've already set this up, so I already have a uh, a crypto offering here. But uh, you should, if you log in, you'll see a little button up here that'll say "Add Crypto Investment." Uh, you'll want to go ahead and click on that. So in this case, instead of the button being up here, I'm actually going to hit Add Goal Account. And in this case, you would click invest in crypto, click continue. And then you'll be able to choose which portfolio you like. Now, a couple things I want you to be aware of is Betterment currently only has four portfolio offerings. Uh, and that means that you're not going to be able to choose individual uh, coins to put in your portfolio. However, later on, we will go through a way to actually uh, hide coins and, and not have them uh, attached to your portfolio. So it's kind of like a um, sort of a reverse big score where you know you don't have to uh, you don't have to win as long as uh, somebody else loses. Well, you don't get to pick the crypto you want uh, individually. You can just choose the ones that you don't want. Now, if you click into each one of these, I'm going to click into the, the universe first. It actually goes through and it shows you all the different coins in here. So in this case, um, you'll see up here, you know, it gives you the description. Um, this is basically every coin that they feel is appropriate to put in a portfolio. So you've got, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. And if you click on it, it'll tell you, you know, what it is, the target weight, um, etc. Nope, sorry about that. Let me go back. Now, when I click on any of these, I can see what's going on. I can scroll all the way down. You can see they actually do have some some dollars in here. So if you put hundred dollars in, two dollars will actually go towards the U.S. dollar and not towards crypto. So please be very careful of that. If you already have a savings plan with Betterment and you're getting two and a quarter. Um, you're better off putting it in there than in here. So just something to, to be aware of. Um, the other thing is the fees here. One of the things to be aware of is uh, Betterment's currently doing all their backhauling and their um, investment allocation through uh, Gemini. I've used Gemini before. I might do a video on them uh, coming up, but uh, you're actually gonna be paying a 1% fee here plus your trading fees. And th that could end up being um, they're saying here, you know, up to up to 15 basis points. So potentially uh, one in one 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 point one five percent management fee on assets. So something to be aware of. Um, you also have the sustainable portfolio that's meant to hedge against things like utilizing less energy, um, sustainable energy, things like that, where Ethereum's here uh, is the number one coin because Ethereum, for those that don't know, uses much, much, much less processing power in order to clarify and validate a block on the blockchain uh, when it comes to transaction frequency. It's also much faster than Bitcoin. Um, a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to clear a transaction versus up to 10 minutes with Bitcoin. You've also got your dollar down here. Metaverse, somewhat of the same way. Um, Bitcoin's a very big part of this. So I would recommend uh, if you're if you really like Ethereum and you feel like that's the way to go, invest in this sustainable portfolio here. If I go ahead and click on the universe portfolio, which is actually the one that I invested in, it brings you up to this next uh, page here. You can change the name, you can change the icon if you want. You can change your portfolio again. Um, and then it actually tells you here what I meant what I mentioned a minute ago. you can restrict specific cryptocurrencies from being included if you'd like. Um, and that's where you'll do that in the settings and I'll walk you through that. Let's go confirm. It actually tells you here, you need to understand the risks. One thing I wanna make sure, these are not FDI insured, so there's no protection um, should there happen to be a market uh, crash or something like that when it comes to crypto. They want you to make sure you understand the volatility and the risk ratio that comes with this. 
and they actually go through and look at your entire portfolio and tell you what percentage in dollars, not percentage of what you should and should not invest. So I really like this feature that they have here and I'll, I'll get into that in just a minute. So I'm not actually gonna hit create this account. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna open up my portfolio. So in this case, I'm gonna choose my crypto portfolio here, which I just recently loaded today, $100 in to see what it does. Uh, but you'll notice my portfolio details, I have the universe selected here. We just went through that. Here it's much the same as all the other betterment features you're used to you're used to looking at. Once tomorrow, once the uh, once the money's loaded into the account, it'll spread the 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 hundred dollars evenly over all these different coins. And again, you can click into one of these and it'll tell you, you know, what it is, uh, portfolio weight, current weight, account balance, etc. Uh, activity is much the same as any on any other individual taxable or um, retirement account. You'll be able to see the performance. And then over here, uh, you'll actually see settings. And this is where you can actually go in uh, and edit to block a cryptocurrency. So in this case, I went in here and did a test. I actually blocked Dogecoin uh, just to see what it would do. But in this case, you can go in and block, I mean, I guess you could go through and block all of them if you wanted to, except you know the one that you wanted, Ethereum, kind of defeats the purpose, but you could do that. So just something to be aware of and keep in mind. Um, one of the other things to look for here and keep an eye on is the automatic account rebalancing. So what they'll do is they'll go through and this tells you the minimum, uh, what you need in the accounts to do it. But it's much like an individual taxable account. It'll go through, it'll look at your portfolio and say, hey, look, you're too heavily weighted in Solana or Dogecoin or Avalanche or you know whatever it is uh, that doesn't match your risk parity and your risk appetite from a weight equity perspective. So in this case, if Bitcoin is supposed to be 36% and it's 39, it'll rebalance it automatically. So I think that's great. Um, and then it all over here, it gives you a little bit, it gives you a summary of, of what you've actually invested in and what this looks like. Um, launch date, and if you hover over any of these, it'll actually tell you, um, in this case, your portfolio drift, etc. So when I go back to the homepage, You'll notice that it showed up just like, um, just like any other asset that you have in here. Either on the left side, over here, you know, I've got I have a checking account, I have a cash reserve, I have my individual taxable, and I have a crypto, and I do have some of my retirement funds um, in IRA. I have an IRA here as well. So you'll see this show up just like any other account. So the, and here's my parting words with this: uh, having just looked at it today, having went through setting it up. It seems to be a very crisp and clean offering uh, for those that want to add cryptocurrency to their portfolio. Uh, there are a few things to keep in mind. The betterment fees of 1% plus trading fees, that could really eat into your profits. And what do I mean by that? So you're gonna have a 1% fee just to manage it. Plus you have trading fees that go over to Gemini. So you need to be making at least two and a half to 3% um, at a minimum just to see any kind of tangible return you know betterment currently has the ability to uh they have a cash reserve which which i have today for two and a quarter so you could get two and a quarter percent on your money just by parking it there the second thing i want you to understand is you don't own the crypto in this case i've talked about this in some of my other videos but if you don't own the private key you don't own the crypto so let me unpack that for a minute if you don't own the private key on the blockchain through something like an individual, uh, uh, an individual holding like um, Gemini in this case, or Voyager or Ledger, you don't own the crypto. So you can't transfer crypto in and out of these Betterment accounts, at least not yet. I'm hoping to see that from them in the future. I've, I've sent in feedback that I'd love to have the same parity that even something like a Robinhood has. Uh, to be able to move the crypto in and out. But as it is today, you invest. If you want to sell and you want to get out of it, you can't transfer Bitcoin in and out or Ethereum or Solana or Avalanche uh, or any other coin in and out of your portfolio here because these are these are basically futures. These are basically futures contracts on the coins. 
So again, you don't actually own the crypto. Um, they're buying these futures contracts for you with your money, charging you a fee. And hey, you might be okay with that. You know, that might be good enough for you. Uh, for me, I keep a lot of my crypto um, on a hardware wallet, removed. Um, it's not connected to the internet. It actually sits in a, it sits in a, uh, a safety deposit box. And then when I want to purchase more, I obviously I get it, I plug it in, you know, do my thing, and then disconnect it. That way, I own the keys. Um, there's no way for anyone else to get access to the keys except for me. So just be careful of that. I'm sure Betterment's working on a way to solve this issue in the future. However, I want everyone to make sure that they understand, again, you do not own the crypto here. This is not yours to transfer in and out. You're welcome to sell it. You're welcome to buy it. Um, I'd love to see a swap option eventually. I'd love to be able to see Betterment uh, provide the ability to swap from, say, Bitcoin to Ethereum, Ethereum to Litecoin, Litecoin to Avalanche, Avalanche to Dogecoin, whatever that is, even for a small fee. So that's all I had for you today. Uh, this, this is a fairly quick overview of uh, crypto inside of Betterment. I'd be interested, though, uh, drop some comments down below if you've used uh, Betterment Crypto today, if you're looking at it, um, if you've thought about using it, what do you like, what don't you like. I'm, I'm going to uh, link the article that they dropped earlier today down in the description, as well as my Betterment uh, referral link. So uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye.